guys, Sam Robinson here, Director and Financial Advisor at Pursue Wealth. Today I wanted to talk to you about a big split we've all been hearing about and no, I'm not referring to Tay-Tay and Calvin Harris. We are actually referring to Brexit, which is an abbreviation for British Exit. And it's the referendum that came out last week, which was the split between Britain leaving the EU, which is the European Union, which they originally joined in 1973. The European Union is an alliance between 28 countries within Europe that aim to create peace, stability and prosperity. And they do that by opening up their borders and allowing free movement between goods, services, people and capital. Last week, there was a shock outcome that Britain actually voted to leave the EU, with 52% asking to leave and 48 saying that they wanted to remain part of the EU. So the question is, why would they actually want to leave the EU? Many Brits believe that the membership fee that they pay to be a part of the EU is just far too high and outweighs the benefits that they receive in return. So the net cost to Britain last year, for example, was about $8.5 billion. There are also many Brits that are a little bit upset about the high levels of immigration. And they're concerned that people or citizens within the EU are moving to UK and not needing working visas and actually taking what they believe is to be their jobs um, and also using their national resources like the National Health Service. So realistically, how is that affecting us here in Australia? We're moving into a really uncharted territory at the moment and we're most likely going to be seeing increased levels of volatility within the markets. We can already see that through consumer confidence as many people are already selling down their shares both in Australia and internationally. While we're also seeing gold prices increasing and that's because people are moving to what they see as a more stable asset. However, our view at Pursue Wealth is that this may be just a little bit of a storm in a teacup. We think that we will see some short-term volatility, but I don't think it's really gonna have a large impact on our long-term investments. For all of our members, as part of our ongoing commitment to you, we want you to be aware that we have revised your strategies. And for those who we feel that may be impacted, we've already been in contact with you. If you haven't heard from us, it's because we don't really feel that this is going to be of a large impact to your strategy at this point in time. However, be assured that we are reviewing it and keeping um, a close eye on what's to happen. If you're not one of our members and you feel like perhaps you are going to be impacted by this or you just want to have a conversation about how you can start investing, then we're really excited to hear from you. So feel free to pop in for a coffee or contact the office. So from all of us at Pursue Wealth, I hope this has shed a little bit more light on Brexit and we look forward to hearing from you soon.